love of sports or love of anything comes from a family background, right? So I come from a family, uh, my father was obsessed with football. But I would say that in general we had a love for sports and then I, you know, I lived in Canada for 17 years and that also basketball. I lived in Toronto, the Toronto Raptors was the team. You could either do hockey or basketball and I did basketball because also of high school my friends played basketball. I played a little bit of basketball, was not very good uh, and retired very early. And I'm interested in sports because of the potential of what it can do for people's lives, right? So when I started really seriously watching basketball, it was Vince Carter days, right, in Toronto. Besides, uh, we grew up with Jordan, right? But besides Jordan, in my actual recollection, it was Vince Carter uh, in, for the Toronto Raptors, and he was incredible. I also like Kevin Durant. Um, I, of course, love the Raptors. So Siakam, um, Scotty Barnes, OG. OG, uh, I think, has a, a bright future in basketball. Um, yeah, I like Kyrie. I like a lot of the players that other players, Yanis. Uh, I think Wemby is going to be very interested. I watched him uh, play the Toronto Raptors and uh, swatting away balls. Uh, so, do I have a favorite player? I have a couple of favorite players. I would say I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a die-hard player. For us, basketball is a pathway, uh, same as volleyball. We're also in volleyball as well, and uh, starting volleyball this year, and other sports in the future. We see sports as uh, an opportunity for to support young people, to empower young people for a future. So we see sports as a career, a well-paying career that they must train, of course, competitively, physically for, but it's an opportunity to blend education and sports so that our athletes are studying, are progressing, and when they, when they stop playing, there are other careers in sports. So we understand the ecosystem of sports. So we see it as an opportunity for the young people at Kepler to be able to do, uh, to have careers in sports in the, in the entire ecosystem. So our ambition, yes, is to become a competitive um, program in basketball for men and women, uh, in Division One and Division Two for men and Division One for women. We are interested in competing and winning. Uh, we are very ambitious in that sense. But we, the underlying mission is really to offer an opportunity for young people to be able to do sports as a career. Our uh, core business is really pathways. So how do you get young people to be employed, to have a dignified life, right? And so education is the, the main lever, whether it's university degrees or short training or uh, what we call bridging programs, which is the bridge between secondary school and high school. But sports is also a new area that we've explored. Um, we decided to go into sports as an opportunity. In the future, we're also interested in the creative arts, right? So it's not just uh, sports as an ambition. Remember, the vision is really helping young people. But we thought we'd start with basketball because that's an area where a lot of the leaders of this organization are, uh, have played or are interested in. Starting anything is very challenging, and uh, we want to do things properly. So when we, when we look at going into sports, we look at what infrastructure is required, right? How do you build a team? How do you get great coaching staff? How do you get great technical and management staff, right? And uh, part of that was also we opened a gym so that our athletes can um, compete also on conditioning, that they can be physically conditioned for the sport that they're playing. So it's not just finding great uh, players, uh, it's a good coaching team, it's the technical requirements, it's the facilities, it's the gym, uh, it's the feeding, it's the housing, it's the, you know, all the equipment that's required. Um, but now we're you know, ready for Division 1. So for the Division 2 men's basketball team, we had the majority of them were students, so they tried out. We have an open tryout process, they tried out, we selected the best and uh, the, uh, the majority are given full scholarships, some are given partial scholarships. And uh, that means the partial that we cover everything except school and then they take a student loan to study. But the, when th those who are given a full scholarship are given a full scholarship, they study and play at Kepler. Um, and so on that part, that's how we selected our players. We, add we added an additional two or three pro players. They are paid a salary like other pro players, but we had very few uh, in Division Two. Um, in Division 1 that will be the same, uh, half of the team will be student players, student athletes who will have their scholarships, the same benefits that they had in Division 2 uh, and then the other half, um, a little less than a half, will be pro players who will get a salary like any other team. So it's a very competitive process, not every member of our Division 2 team went into Division 1. We've selected the best and we expect the best, we expect to compete. And there are very few teams in the Rwanda Division 1 league that have very um, I would say competitive offers more than Kepler, right? There may be one or two. And at this point, I think only one. Uh, I think the other teams were competing for top players and we will get top players.
Everything starts at leadership. You have to have a leader who's interested in sports. Uh, and part of that in includes figuring out the cost uh, of a program. And then once you have that budget, if you are a public university, you have to make sure you're not taking resources away from academics, which is what happens. The sports departments start to compete with other programs uh, academically, and of course the priority is academics, right? So the best thing to do is to know how to raise that money uh, outside of uh, your operational resources, your daily resources, which is what we do at Kepler. So we, we raise money for, um, we make investments, facilities, so the infrastructure, we make investments in them, uh, and then we pay over time, we pay ourselves over time, but for the, the running of the teams, we are looking for sponsors, and you have to make sure that you, you are providing a package for sponsors that is attractive. So we think about that from the beginning, uh, which again, I think comes back to how you uh, build a sports program. We are being, building a long-term uh, sports program. I know that we all want to win Division One and go to Ball, but at Kepler, because of our mission and how we view sports and the effects it is for young people, it's a long-term goal for us. Uh, we want our, you know, our players to play all over the world. We want to attract uh, players from all over Africa, right? The expectation is to win, but really what we want to see is, you know, do we have the right system? Do we have the right uh, players and team, coaching staff to be able to get to, um, the, to become the winner of the Division I? So that's the first year for us, but I can tell you that in second year, uh, the stakes go very high because then we're competing, understanding how things work in Division One. In Division Two, we, we, were, we, we expected to win and we, we lost, which became a very big lesson for us. We lost in the final. We lost to a team we had beat in the, uh, in the regular season. And so it was a very good lesson for us to, one, don't be overconfident, but also beyond just the, the players, it's also about the system, right? Uh, the coaching staff, the systems, you have to work on the entire um, ecosystem to be able to win. So that's something that we're looking forward to building over this uh, next season. We've started to build a, a covered facility on our property, and uh, we hope that it'll be finished in uh, April 2024 and that facility will be closed, seat 1,500 people, so we, we look forward to opening that facility so we can play. For now we have the rubber court here and we'll continue to use that until our facility is finished. But we are keeping a Division II team as well, if it's approved by the General Assembly, of course. We've asked for approval for a Division II team and a Division I women's team, so we will have three teams in the, in the next season if we are approved for our, new, our two new teams. And the idea is there because we're interested in the development of players, uh, and that's just beyond Kepler in general. We want to use it as an opportunity for young people in Division Two. So those will be student athletes. So they'll be the best um, players, but who are also going to to Kepler to study. That's Division Two men's. Division One um, women will have the same uh, policy, which is half at the student athletes, half pros. Uh, but we're, we're hoping to, to build a very strong competitive women's team because I think that's really important. Uh, we see that in volleyball the women's teams have progressed quite well. That needs to happen also in basketball and we have to do better sports management. So if you open a team you have to have the resources to do so, you have to think about the infrastructure um, and there has to be a better way that even the te teams in Division 1 um, see the, the, the league, see the long-term vision of the league um, and really it's about getting the best players that Rwanda has, of course with help from international players, right? Uh, and it's our right to bring those players, but it really should be about how do we develop and play the best Rwandan basketball players, right? Because if we have that, that, um, uh, that development that comes in, we will have long-term dominance in African basketball. Right now, what, we, what is happening is we have done really well on infrastructure because of the government investments. We've done well in attracting people to come. Like, the more people come, you have to think about infrastructure. It's been good. But locally, we really need to build our capacity and our vision for what the, the, the league can become. Part of why we put sports as a career at Kepler is we want to show um, young people that you can actually play professionally do very well for yourself and then when you retire as a player you can be a broadcaster you can work in management you can work in coaching right it's important to invest in infrastructure it's important also to invest in people and i think that's where um, i think we need to do more work uh, there and by people i mean the other people the, the referees the coaches the the assistant coaches all the other conditioning etc and then the players. How do we make sure that we're really targeting long term? That has to be the concept. We have to have so many people who can play and then a few who make it to, to, to the league. 
uh, and there are other pathways for those who don't make it to the league. That's the plan. That should be the plan.